Hello and welcome all back to the Diddly Tower of Monsters. I am your host, Woofy, and we are continuing right where we left off. Um, I'm not really sure where we're supposed to go, but I'm assuming it is up. So let's do just that. I hear modern science fiction directors sometimes put the lens flare in on purpose. Why on earth? What's the next trend? Dead fly on the lens? <laughs> Jeez. Watch. You won't believe me, but you just watch. It'll happen. Some big shot will do it for one scene, and the following year, everyone will be doing it. Um. <laughs> they're making fun of J.J. Abrams right there. Is there anything over here? Secrets, secrets, give me all the secrets. Except there are none. Aw, oh, no secrets. Well, that would be the perfect spot to have a secret. No! Wasn't supposed to fall off. Don't fall off. I want to jump down through the rings, I really do. But there's nothing there. Part 2, in which our hero ventures into the dead layer. Something, something. Dr. Peculiar! Yes, your eminence? Release the Mechameleon! But your eminence, the Mechameleon isn't ready. What is the meaning of this? I thought he was completed. Geniuses, they're not completed, your eminence. I was just preparing to your chainsaw on his tail. Enough! Your tinkering costs me precious gold and time. You do not have that luxury, Dr. Peculiar. Yes, your eminence. Releasing the Mechameleon at once. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, Ludwig. Yeah, good old Ludwig. We cast an actual doctor to play Dr. Peculiar. Never again. Oh my god, he was a cranky old coot. May he, um, rest in peace. The costumes, the script, the creature effects, you name it, he wouldn't stop criticizing everything. Well, in his defense, I think he did have some early signs of dementia or something. He was always getting lost on set, forgetting his lines, making up new ones. Yeah, it was cute. Midway through a scene, he'd just yell, Her on my tails! <laughs> it was like a catchphrase. We almost left a few of them in. I have to say that the incredible job the animators did with the King Gorilla can only be outdone by their work in the Mecha Million. I'll leave further comments for later in the film, but this was truly an epic creation. Okay, well, we're about to find out how epic it was. Oh, crap. Maybe don't do that. Oh, no. What's happening? Ow. Well, this is a very strong sword. Ooh, can we... Let's... Ooh, we definitely want the gold. I want to upgrade stuff and things. Uh, oh no, no, no. Ah, uh, crap. I keep forgetting to press the wrong button at all. Come on, let me into the menu thing. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, well. Not enough resources. Well. It is what it is. We still upgraded it once. Uh oh. Can we? Yes, we can. Okay, moving. Can we see our first glimpse of a technique I used throughout the movie. Want to make a big scary monster look even more menacing? 
Put it in a dome. Monster doesn't look scary enough already? Put it in a dome. Want the audience to know when a monster really means business? Put it in a dome. Yeah, you're dead. Whoa, oopsie. What the hell? No, no, electric monster. Okay. Good. You're all dead. Woo. Bye bye. Hey. Oh well. Can oh, what is you? Love it. Yeah. Um. So. Do we go up here? No, no. Um. Uh, well. There we go. Let us go around. Yes, okay, cool. Right on, one down. Ah, the little mini saucers. Oh, these guys were just adorable. Oh, another of your fake death scenes. Uh, why? Fake death scene. Okay, so full health will help. Done. Moseying on. There we are. Ah, the little mini saucers. Oh, these guys were just adorable. Okay, how many more are there? None. Okay, good. Moving on up. I was a huge fan of the old classic movie, The Flea, from 1958. Uh, so I created this monster as sort of a sort of an ama homage, ama homage, homage, homage. Um, uh, in respect to that film, I have the darndest time with that word homage. What? Man, oh man, that whip. We probably should have invested in some training courses so the actors knew how to properly handle it, but instead we just let them flail it around wildly. You know that saying, it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye? That's true. And that's the story of why the Emperor wears that metal monocle. Greg was a real trooper about it, though. Didn't even seem phased that he'd have to wear an eye patch for the rest of his life. I think he went on to do some pirate theme promotions at his used car lot once we wrapped up production. Oh. Well, okay then. Oh, upgrade. Wait, what is this? It's your Eric J. Wait. I just changed characters. Can we upgrade anything right now? Not enough of anything. Well, okay then. Going on up. Oh no. Where is my 
I am a chameleon. Why has it not pulverized the intruders already? Well, well, Johnny Reeves, I was installing photon lasers into its eyes. I hadn't finished. So, the mechameleon might be somewhat, well, blind. My indomitable guardian is blind? I do not tolerate failure, Doctor. Uh, getting these two to do their scenes together was enough to make your head spin. They weren't, strictly speaking, actors. Well, not in your usual sense. Ludwig here, or Dr. Peculiar, actually was a doctor. I think I told you that before. Uh, Greg, our emperor, well, that's a whole different can of beans. Our casting guy found him on a used car lot. Greg talked him into buying just a horrible car. They never ran. Oh, then when he tried to get his money back, Greg just laughed maniacally. So, doggone it, he offered Greg the role right on the spot. He said, Dan, this guy is perfect. Okay, so um we were well. running out of extras and <coughs> clay sculptures, but we needed more monsters. Oh, he's more monsters. So, we had this brilliant idea. If you stick a puppy inside an old vacuum cleaner, wham, instant monster. Throw in a string of Christmas lights and it's camera ready in 5 minutes. And that had to be some kind of world record or something. Oh, I missed. Wait, what? How? Okay, so how do we get back up? No. Oh. Well, okay then, we're good. No, we're not gonna get any. Okay, we're not gonna get anything from that. So. Kill. There. You're down. There's nothing else we need to worry about. We've reached the checkpoint. Collecting all the monies. Explosions. We were running out of extras and clay sculptures, but we needed more monsters. Oh, he's more monsters. So we had this brilliant idea. If you stick a puppy inside an old vacuum cleaner, wham, instant monster. Throw in a string of Christmas lights and it's camera ready in five minutes. And that had to be some kind of world record or something. Fun fact, boys and girls, cinematographers don't like it when you use their dog without asking permission first. But hey, to that I say, what goes around comes around. Little Buster here ruins so many shots barking all day long. You don't want me to grab your dog and cover him in Christmas lights? Well, don't bring him to work. Okay, so what is that? I don't have enough health. No. What is it doing? Um, health please. What? Come on, really? Uh, 
health, please. Or not, that's fine too. Come on, help. Whoa, hello. Health, 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 health. Nope. One hit and we're done. Recharge. Almost. Yeah. It's still no health. We are very, very low. Very low. Oh, wait. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, I didn't... Uh, well. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah. Grabbing stuff and things. No checkpoint. Oh, wait, why did I just... Huh? But... I get it now. They force you to change to the next character because of stuff and things. No more. We're about at the altitude where Dick's rocket ship had crash landed at the start of the film. When I think back about all the work we did, building this darn tower and making models and costumes and sets and props, and then trying to keep it all straight during filming and not getting anything all mixed up, uh, it's exhausting. Just thinking back on it is exhausting. I wish I could tell my younger self to just direct romantic comedies. It's the only way you'll get a good night's sleep. Is it now? Do we have to go up here? Is there any secret stuff over here? No. Okay, well we got more health which was needed. Yes. Now we're going around in a cycle. And we're gonna go up here now. Oh no. Can we? Oh, we can. Okay. Oh. Come on, angles. Ah, yes. The rotating contraption thing. We actually used Ferris wheel parts from an old amusement park. I think it was called Dizzyland. Is it Dizzyland? Isn't that kind of close to... Yeah, and the courts agreed with you. They shut them down before they opened the gates. <laughs> well, it's their own fault, I guess. Well, naturally, my production team swooped right in and bought up everything they could get their hands on. So, I guess there was a silver lining to their legal battles. One man's lemon is another man's lemonade. Or however that saying goes. Um... Nah. Don't need a switch. See what we can upgrade. Uh, we could upgrade that, or hell yeah.
Uh, we can't do that one. Or that one. Now it's a bed whip. Whoa, don't fall off. Supercharge. Very nice. Well, we're going to end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, and all that fun and wonderful stuff. Tell your friends, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Till then, later.